Hey, what's up guys? That old dude here today. Boy, do I got something cool to show you. So let's just jump right in and check it out. Okay guys, so um, I'm sure you're all familiar with White Noise FPV and the young man named Kevin Lee who owns uh, White Noise FPV and goes by the name of White Noise. So he needs no introduction uh, from an old dude like me. So um, he's known for his uh, White Noise uh, breakout board that allows you to put a either the uh, Unify high volt race or the five volt um, on one side of his breakout board and uh, any receiver on the other side to make a complete 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter board for your stack to, to, to combine both the receiver and the VTX. So, and then um, uh, recently I did a video, um, a soldering video on the, um, the uh, nano board that he made um, for the for the nano um, Unify VTX and the nano receiver by Team Black Sheep, and uh, I'll put a link uh, or a card up top uh, so you can watch that video. It's a lengthy video about soldering this board up. And then recently, he uh, also released um, these cool things called race wires, which um, uh, snap apart and instead of running long wires on your uh, on your arms where you would sometimes get a prop hit um, you cut your wire shorter and run the motor on one side and run the other side wires to your uh, four in one um, ESC and uh, this stops you from getting prop hits and destroying your wires he makes those for not only five and six inch quads but also for little three and two inch quads so uh, just a really in a innovative product some people are, are liking them some people are not I, I personally love them I think they're a great idea and they're working great so um, recently he just released a new board um, and I've been I've had it for a while and I've been biting my tongue trying to keep my mouth shut and not do a video on it but uh, so I was, uh, he finally said, go ahead and make your video. So uh, here it is, the introduction to um, the White Noise V2.2 30 millimeter breakout board for either a, um, let me zoom in here and focus. So I'm super excited about this board because this board can take either the Nano VTX by Team Black Sheep or the larger 5 volt um, VTX that you can see here on the print on the uh, where it would go and it still accepts um, so it's kind of like an all-in-one board is what it is it's it's just an awesome um, board to add to your stack so you can add your VTX here and um, I'm sure you can use any receiver of your choice but I would use the TBS nano receiver right there if, if, but if you don't have a nano receiver, you can use the receiver you got and just wire it directly to this board. So um, I'm not gonna do a, uh, a soldering up of this board. Um, if you're looking for some soldering instructions, I've, I've made a, uh, a printout that I'll flash on the screen a couple times through this video so you can see where all the wires go and where everything solders up. And then if you're interested, I also did a, I did do a soldering um, video on, the, on um, Kevin Lee's White Noise, White Noise's uh, Nano 20 by 20 breakout board uh, for the VTX and the um, Nano receiver by Team Black Sheep. But so today we're, it's gonna be a short video. I just wanna talk to you about this board a little bit and um, explain a, a few things. And again, I'll be putting up um, a uh, diagram of where things go. So um, let me see if can I zoom in anymore? No, okay. All right, so let's start with the right side of the board here. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know who's doing these boards for him, but the screen printing, the contrast between the black and the white is just awesome. It's very legible. 
Um, the numbers and the, the symbols are, are very large for an old dude like me with bad eyes, so I can see where everything goes, and it's very self-explanatory. So over here on the right side of the board, uh, the word, uh, the letters BTN, and that's where your little um, button can go if you choose to have a button um, for your uh, VTX by Team Black Sheep, and it comes, the Nano um, VTX comes with that button. So that would solder on there. And then moving up here where it says CAM, these three pads here, so you um, have C, 5V, and negative. And this is for your FPV camera, your, your run cam or your Foxy, or, um, those three wires from that camera would go here. And so camera, five volts, and uh, negative or ground solder right to there from your camera. Moving over to the left side of the board, uh, where it says receiver, and again in this great white print, this um, screen print on this board, you have uh, pin two, pin one, positive and negative. And, and just like on the, um, on the nano receiver is just the same way. So pin two, pin one, um, positive and negative, and then you would solder your, your pins through these uh, pad holes and then put your receiver, solder your receiver right on top of that. So just building up this nice uh, stackable 30 by 30 board for your, uh, right on top of your flight controller is just, is just totally awesome. So then moving down the left side of the board, uh, you have all these pads. And so you got pad two, pad one, plus and negative, and again, that's for the, that's, the traces are going right to here, two, one, plus and negative. And um, then you have five volts, C, V, and A. So five volts, you would bring your five volts in, and again, I'll, I'll be pu putting up that diagram for you. Five volts would come in to this whole board, to work this whole board. So the five volts over here on this camera, okay, and, uh, is connected, somehow to the five volts here. So you're, you're getting your five volts to your camera from this five volt pad. And, um, and then same with the camera, where it says see over here, it, your, your camera out is coming right out of here. And then your VTX um, channel on your flight controller would hook to the V, and then the A is for your audio, smart audio. Now, and then you have these pins as well. Um, uh, these smaller pins for your, if you're going to run the larger Unify 5 volt um, uh, v VTX that would fit uh, solder down to these, this pad here and this bigger pad up here and this pad here. And then uh, would plug into these rather than using the, uh, the Nano VTX. So you, you, you've got all these options, which I, I'm an options guy, I love options. And uh, it's just really well thought out. So then, if we flip the board over to the back, um, you'll notice it says uh, five volts receive and a VTX. So if you put a, a solder blob across here and jump this, that is going to allow you to get five volts to your receiver pad as well, just from this one pad. So in other words, if you're running like the nano and you just need to get five volts to that nano receiver, then you would jump that pad on the back and just run one five volt cable right from this five volt to your five volts in. And again, I'm gonna uh, splash another diagram up there and there'll be one at the end of the video, but isn't that the coolest thing? So less wires, less, less wires to have to run to your, your uh, flight controller um, just really well thought out, I, I think, and I'm sure you will agree that we've been waiting for something like this um, for our um, five and six inch quads running uh, 30 by 30 stack. So really, uh, like I said, I knew it was going to be a short video. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. I think it's an awesome, innovative product and, um, and white noise leading the way for the future for us and uh, with hopefully more products coming out in the future. So if you liked my video, please hit the like button, um, subscribe for future videos, and if you wanna leave a comment or if you have a question, 
uh, please go ahead and leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.